Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you the step-by-step -step process of how to download and install Cyber Hunter on PC or laptop. Even if you are a complete beginner at downloading and installing games, you can still follow along because I will show you the full installation process. This video divided into three phases discussing three alternative ways to download and install Cyber Hunter on your PC or laptop. So let's get into the video. In the first method, we will use the official Cyber Hunter website. So, in order to get into the Cyber Hunter official website, type cyberhunter.game in your browser. Then it will take you to the official website of Cyber Hunter. Then you will notice a version which is for the Windows. So, click on that and click download. This is a 2.95 GB file. So, click on the download, it will automatically download. So as I already downloaded the file, I will take you to the downloaded file. So after downloading, you will find the exe types of application. This this is the file that you will directly download it from the official website. Then right click on it and click on run as administrator. Then you can choose the installation folder. You can Keep it as default or you can choose any other folder from your win from your PC. Then click on the install. Then it will verify the files and after that it will starting the installation process. It will take some time after it completed 200%, so be patient in that moment. So after that, you just need to refresh your screen and search for Cyber Hunter installed app. So click on the open. After that, allow access. My PC is little bit slow, but for your case, if you have a good end PC, it won't take that much of time. So after that, it will download if it has any updates. Click on the confirm. Then search for Cyber Hunter, then click on Open. Now, as you can see, 
it will check for updates and if it has any major updates it will check updates and if it doesn't have any updates it will automatically start so as i newly downloaded the file it will have some updates So as I mentioned, it has updates of 311.56 MB. So let's wait for a while so that it can download. As you can see update is complete so it will automatically restart and it will start again so it will first check for the updates and then it will start the game and then we are ready for start playing So as you can see our game is now starting it's taking some moments because i don't have that high-end pc then click on the allow access you cannot change servers unless you log in to your account so first try to log in to your account if you don't have any account then create one after clicking the login button you can easily change the server Change the server according to your ping rate, then click on anywhere to continue, then select the option, best option that suits you. And now as you can see our game is started. So this is about the first method, so now let's see the second method. Let me exit the game. So the second method is nothing but if you have any issues downloading the file then you cannot install the game properly because it will show error on verifying the files on the installation step. So what I did I just downloaded the file which is already verified and this is the exactly same file when you download it from the website. So I already downloaded it and i update and i upload it to the google drive and i will give the link on the description box where you can easily download the total already all okay files so you can just download that and unzip that file
so as it's a huge file around 2.95 GB it will take some moment in order to unzipping So the file is unzipped. Now if you can see it's the exactly same file as we downloaded from the official website. So both are exactly the same. So you can either download from the official website. If the official website file didn't work properly, try download the file that I gave you on the description link as a second method. So the installation process totally the same as I shown you the method one so let's jump into the third method the third method is nothing but the totally installed folder so you don't need to install the game so let me install the game from my computer so that I can show you properly so I give the link on the description downloaded the file and unzip the file it will also take some moments because it's an installed game so let's wait for a while so that we can unzip the file So we completely unzip the file. Okay, very fresh. So let's get into the folder. So as you can see, here we'll find the launcher and the install because it's a totally installed folder. So now I don't have the install running on my PC. Let me show you. If I search for Cyber Hunter, it will not get me anything because I don't have installed game. So after that, go to the CA certificates folder, then click on install certificates, choose either current user or local machine, then hit the next. After that, finish. Click on OK. Again, OK. Now click on the launcher.exe file. It will directly launch the game. You don't need to install it. So it's the third method that you can use and I hope any of these method will 100% work for your PC or laptop if you meet the minimum requirement of the game. So if any of the method doesn't work, let me know in the comment section. And if you have still any issue, then let me know so that I can get you either any of the solution. I suggest if any of this doesn't work, try blocking your antivirus then try the methods hope it will work so as you can see our game is started click on the allow access click on the login and then you can change the server then click on accept as you can see our game is running we didn't install the game but our game is running smooth so thanks for watching the video enjoyed it hope it helps let me know in the comment section how you like the video thanks for watching